Welcome to my man cave. Come on in. As you can see, we like to hunt, not just alligators. Our line of work, the winter time we have off, so we get to spend a lot of time in the woods. Dad's always brought me up deer hunting in the swamps and whatnot, and now that I'm older, we do a lot of traveling all over the United States and even in Canada. As you can see, we've had some pretty good hunts over the years. Growing up, I always was intrigued by taxidermy work, and uh, my local taxidermist took me in under his, under his wings and, and taught me, you know, the, the ins and outs of it. I do love doing it. I've done some of the, the animals in here, these deer right here on this wall, were all done by me. We got a little mixture of everything. These uh, at the top up here are some elk that I shot in Montana. Shot them back to back years. It was it was pretty neat trying to get them things up there to say the least. Well, that duck is up there by himself because most of the time, basically all I hunt is white-tailed deer. I'll go on a couple duck hunts at the end of the year. I have a picture here on my wall that I love. And so I'm trying to mimic that picture right there. Hopefully this year I'll go and shoot a few more ducks and then I'll start placing them in that corner the same way that they look on this picture. But I've traveled up to Canada and shot this real big bear. This is just a big old bear. First bear hunt I ever went on. You know, deer are, are scored by the inches of antlers and bears are scored by the width of the skull. Once it dries out, is the width and the length of the skull. You definitely don't want this guy clamping down on you. And of course, our prized possession right here is a giant alligator that we caught one day. He was 12 foot four. He broke the line. We had to chase him down the river for several miles and caught up to him. And uh, as I was pulling the trigger, the, the gator bumped the end of my barrel and right when I pulled the trigger, it split my barrel. So a compensation piece, to say the least. As you can see right here, I still have that tooth from that alligator last year that bit the other alligator in the head and broke his tooth. This is the old snaggle tooth tooth. Look at this. What? Oh, my god. Look at that tooth. Just the thickness of that tooth just shows you the, the power he must have put in to bite that alligator and to snap it off like that. And I mean, it just fit right back in there. So we know absolutely that was the alligator that killed that other one. You know, my love for hunting comes from my dad. My grandpa has been passed down for years and years. And I remember not even being able to walk through the swamp. My dad would carry me on his back and bring me rabbit hunting with him and deer hunting. I have my very first deer. When I shot it, my dad mounted it for me and I have it up top up there. And then this is my little boy's very first buck that he shot. He shot last year, six years old, and I got to experience that with him. So that was pretty special and uh, something I'll never forget. We do our part to try to help out. We do some hunts throughout the year where we take kids out that they don't get the chance to go out there and we take them out and do some hunts with them. Just to get the experience, you know, we get to do it all the time and we take it for granted. But we've learned a lot over the years that, you know, you don't have to look very far to see somebody less fortunate. You know, I, I keep a little tally of how many deer I've shot over the years, and uh, I'm a little over 100 right now. You know, people say, man, you shot so many, you don't remember anything. And I can tell you the story of every single deer I shot. That might be the king of the swamp, but they call me old Buckmaster Jr. right here. <laughs>